hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel today my name is chrissy and in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys on how to make this beautiful corset dress this is an a-line dress with corsets as you can see it also has a back tail and a stylish sleeve so if you want to know how to make this please keep on watching and if you're here to subscribe please subscribe hit on the subscription button so you get notified once i upload new videos you get it? so guys let's get started so guys to make this dress we need at least six yards of ankara fabric so what I did was to cut out 23 inches on fold. You get, I have 23 inches on fold. Go ahead and cut out 23 inches on fold, depending on how wide you want your A-line to be the flip part you get. So right here, what I did was to place my tips. I'm going to subtract the half length because I'm making this for a gown. So I will just subtract the half length, which is 16 inches. This is not my, so my client so the length of the gown is 57 you get and the half length is 16 so i went ahead to subtract the half length which is 16 inches can you see then i use my ruler to connect it like this after doing this next thing to do again is to place my tip you get right now what i want to do is to go ahead and mark the the new length so the new length here is 35 so i went ahead to mark 35 from her shoulder to the nail is 35 that's where the a line is going to start from the you get so after i was done doing this next thing i'm going to do is to place my tape on the waistline i'm going to um divide the waist circumference by four i marked it then add 2.5 inches for the same allowance Right here, I placed my tape and I came down by 8 inches. That is going to serve as the hip line. So I went ahead to also divide the hip circumference by 4, add 2 inches for the same allowance. Go ahead and connect it from the waistline to the hip. After I was done doing this, on the new part, what I'm going to do is to subtract 1 inch from your hip circumference. The hip circumference divided by 4 is 9 inches because it's 36, you get. So I went ahead to subtract one inch so what i marked is eight inches instead of the nine inch do you get you can see that i subtracted the one inch here so after subtracting my one inch i went ahead to mark the eight inches so after marking this eight inches you can see where i have here so i'll just start from the hip line connect it to the nail you get so just look at how i'm connecting it after connecting it with my ruler stretch ruler i notice that the hip is somehow sharpen you okay? guys so i went ahead to blend it you can see that it's now okay so this is how yours should look like i hope you understand what i'm saying so after i was done doing that you can see where i have here so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to extend it from that nail i'm going to extend it down to the hem do you get so i'm going to extend it you can see where i'm pointing at so go ahead you can see how i'm doing it go ahead and connect it to meet this hem here at this edge you can see so after i was done doing that you can see how it looks like can you see so this is how yours should look like i see that it's looking so fine and the curve and everything is already okay so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut it off and after cutting this off i'm going to also cut out the back piece you get so for the back piece after cutting this off what i'm going to do is to go ahead and notch Go ahead and notch the new length you can see so this is where the flare starts so go ahead and notch it like this after notching you're going to also spread the fabric spread another fabric into two then go ahead and place this one on top of it you get place it on top of it then go ahead and give one inch space for your zipper allowance make sure it's on fold you get so after placing the first piece that is the skirt part i left one inch for the zipper allowance you can see so what i'm going to be doing now is to bring my truck so i'm going to extend the line i have at the nail do you get so i'll just go ahead and extend it so the reason why i extended it is just for me to know where the curve started for the back piece because i'm going to be notching it as well do you get so i'll just go ahead now and cut it off after cutting i also slash the zipper side then notch the zipper side as well at the upper part so after that guys we are going to move in to the drafting of the upper part for the back and the front piece 
So guys, before we move into the drafting of the upper parts, I'll firstly go ahead and cut out the tail for the skate, that is the back tail. So to do that, I'll just um, place my tape, then from the waistline, I'll subtract my the 16 inches for the half length you get. So for the tail, you're going to determine where you would want to start the fixing of your tail or you get. So for me, I want to come up by 33 inches. So I'll start the fixing of the tail from 33 inches, that is 2 inch above the new length you get. So I'll just start the cutting. Now I'm going to bring another piece of fabric, you can see. So it's not too big because the client doesn't want it too big. So um, what I have here is not even up to 1 yard of fabric, you get. It's not even up to 36 inches, that is 1 yard of fabric. So right here, I'll just go ahead and fold it in a triangular shape. You can see from this edge, from this edge right here, go ahead and fold it in a triangular shape. You can see. So after folding it like this, what I'm going to be doing now is to place my tape. So I'll just place it at exactly 33 inches. You get. I'll place it at exactly 33 inches. So from there, I marked the the length of the gown you get so remember the length of the gown was 57 inches plus one and a half inches i added for the folding allowance sorry i didn't mention this initially so guys um this is it the total length of the gown and this tail is 38 and a half inch sorry 58 and a half inches so after cutting it out i'll just go ahead and trim off the sides as well after trimming of the sides here, I'm also going to notch the upper part like this. Then I'll just notch the midpoint so I would know the center of the upper part. Do you get what I'm saying? So go ahead and notch the midpoint. So guys, when I'm through with that, what I'm going to do now is to bring the front and the back piece for the skirt parts you can see so i'll just remove the front then this is the back you get so this is how i'm going to be placing it you get so this is the tail it's going to be fixed at the back of the skirt or at the back of the gown you get just like this but we get there very soon just stay tuned and subscribe subscribe so you get notified whenever i upload a new video if this video it's very simple and you're understanding this so yeah just go ahead and subscribe you can appreciate me by subscribing to my youtube channel do you get so right here this is the drafting of the upper part like i said before so i've gone ahead to also draft and cut everything out of camera for the upper part you get because um why i did this is actually because i already have so many details to real on drafting of this um corset so it, i just feel like it's me repeating myself again and for the sake of time i wouldn't want to do that that's why please pardon me what i'm going to do now is to leave a link in the description box of this video so you go ahead and check how to draft this corset you get so i use the same method for this one as well you get i actually have so many of them so right i'm going to start from the journey of the front piece you get for the upper part you can see so right here you can see that i already gonna have to iron my este my warden cut out the lining as well as you can see so you can see that i also labeled it the warden as one and two that is the first cup and the second cup so just go ahead and watch the video of the link i'm going to be leaving in the chamber so you understand how to or you learn how to draft a corset you get and you can also see the place i notched this place i notched here is for the joining so you don't be confused you're going to just um know on the right way to join with the help of this notch here so for the for this upper part here you can see for the half length you're going to go ahead and join the three pieces together and for the cup you're going to place them the right side facing each other and join through the notch part you can see through the notch side go ahead and draw it half of an inch and also join 
this one here as well then i'll just go ahead and do that for the wadding you're going to join it by top stitching it you get don't join it like this just go ahead and top stitch so this is what i meant guys just top stitch it on top of each other like this you can see don't go and join it like we normally join our dress or piece do you get don't join it like this just go ahead and top stitch for the wadding do you understand so for this um cup uh, you can see that uh, i notched it as well you can see that i also notched it so what i'm going to be doing here right now is to bring my black bias so i'm going to be placing the black bias like this then i'll go ahead and see on the both side also do the same thing for the two lines i have left so guys after i was done you can see where i have here so this is the back this are it's looking so can you see so this is the cup I went ahead to join it and also ironed my seam opening so what i'm going to be doing now is to go ahead and place it so the type of wording i'm making use of the one that has that has shining at the back if you're following my tutorials you will know that i love um, making use of this wording that has shine at the back this is not my first time using this what i have i love using it do you get so this is my tailor's arm i have a tutorial on how to make this tailor's arm i'm going to be leaving the link on the show bros so you go ahead and watch it Watch how to make these tailors and it's going to really help you when ironing your corset. You can see, don't iron your corset on a flat surface. Just go ahead and place it on top of this one and iron it out. So after ironing it together with the warden, you can see how it looks like. You can see now that it sticks together because of the gum at the back of the warden. Also go ahead and join it like this using your half inch. You get go ahead and join it and do the same thing for the other side after doing that i will be right back so guys i'm done joining and you can see how it looks like so what i'm going to be doing now is to notch the cup area all around just like this make sure you notch yours go ahead and notch it so it's going to relax very well like this do the same thing for the other side as well When I'm through with that, you can see where I have here. So I'm going to bring the lining. Everything I did on the front piece, I also did it on the lining as you can see. So what I did was to place it the right side facing each other and just go ahead and sew it like this with half inch. So this is the back. Okay, this is the upper part for the back. So I'll just go ahead and remove the paper. This is very simple to sew. The back is actually very simple. Just go ahead and place your line in the right side facing each other and go ahead and sew it using half of an inch. See the upper part, see the both side as well. So guys, after I was done fixing, sorry, after I was done joining the lining for the upper part for the front, this is how it's looking as you can see. So the next thing I did was to use my hemming gum to avoid this popping of the lining at the neckline. So go ahead and make use of a hemming gum. How you are going to do this is that you are going to go ahead and open it up. Then you are going to open it up like this. Then place your hemming gum on the neckline at the wrong side of your fabric. Just like this. Then go ahead and cover it up with your lining and head over to your ironing table. Go ahead and iron the neckline very properly so it's not going to pop out again the you get so after i was done doing that you can see exactly what i have here can you see how it's looking so yours should look like this this is to avoid your lining popping out on the neckline so i also went ahead to sew the both side inside as well can you see this is how the back is looking like so this is the back as well i also did the same thing for the back you can see how it's looking so what i'm going to do now is to place it just keep it aside and i'll work on the down piece so for the down piece i'm supposed to cut this lining at the beginning of this video but right here i'm going to do that because i forgot to do that initially so this is my lining what i did was to um fold my lining into two so i'll just cut out the back piece first so i'll just place it like this you can see that i started cutting the lining from the new length or you come down a little bit using one inch just go ahead and come down a little bit by one inch or half inch go ahead and cut the lining i hope you understand what i'm saying if you don't understand what i'm saying please watch what i'm doing so you understand after cutting the back piece for the down part i also cut out the front piece as well you can see so after doing that i notched the upper side for the lining so I'll just open it up like this, then place the lining the right side facing each other. 
then after placing it like this i'll go ahead and sew the both sides you can see so i'll just do the same thing for the back piece as well just go ahead and open them the right side then place your lining your side facing each other then go ahead and sew on the both side you get so after doing this after sewing on the both side i turn it on the right side as well but that was um off the camera so what i did next was to join the half length as well after turning them the right side you can see that i joined the half length for the upper parts you can see and i also did the lining sorry the that as well the two that i did the two that as well can you see so this is the front i also did the same thing on the back piece so please um don't be annoyed if i'm very fast on this video it's actually a fast one because this is a simple dress so i have to be fast for the sake of time you get so this is the back this is how the back is looking i already joined the upper part for the back and i also did the that as well you can see so you can see that i also gonna head to pin down this area that is the the center side the center back i went ahead to pin it down you can see so what i did here was to place my tape from the court that is from the joining part i placed my tape then i came from the waistline i placed my tape then came down by eight inches you get so i marked it so this is the tail i went ahead to measure it from that top and i have 25 inches you get so what I'm going to do is from the down part, I'm going to come up by 25 inches from the down part. Then I marked it here. Can you see? After marking it here, I measured it again to be sure. And I have 25, you get 25 inch. So this here, I marked here. This line I just drew is for the joining, you get. So after fixing my zipper at the upper side, I'll go ahead and join it like this. After fixing my zipper, you can see what I have here, guys. You can see. So what I'm going to be doing now, again, is to turn it over to the wrong side. So right now, I want to go ahead and fix the, the tail. You get the back tail. I'll just go ahead and fix it. So you can see the place I marked from there to the, the hem part. I have 25 inches. You can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and place it. You can see how I placed it. Just um, listen up and watch very well at this particular side so you know how to fix or join your tail. So from the notched side, from the midpoint, from the side you notch that is the center of the tail at the upper side. What you will do now is to place it like this. You can see, open your seam allowance that is the zipper side. Place it like this. At the exact point you stitched on the zipper allowance, you are going to come up by half inch. Then from there, you place it. You place the mid side, the mid point of the toe. You place it. Then you can see what I'm doing here. Go ahead and hold it with your pin. Place it. Hold it with your pin. The side. Pin it down. You can see what I'm doing here. Go ahead and pin it down like this. Do the same thing for the other side as well. You can see what I'm doing. Always pin it down to avoid mistakes. Go ahead and pin it. After pinning it down like this, what you're going to do is to head over to your sewing machine. You can see how I spread it. Head over to your, uh, to your sewing machine. Then go ahead and place it like this on your sewing machine. Then from this point, I chalked. That point I chalked, go ahead and sew, or sew it straight down with half of an inch. You get, then turn the other side as well. Go ahead and sew with half of an inch. It's very simple. So after doing that, I will be right back. So guys, when I'm through with that, you can see where I have here. So can you see how the back is looking? Even the tail, you can see how the tail is looking. There is no folded side. You can see that everything is straight and very neat. This is the back side. I'll just go ahead and show you how I joined the back. You can see. Can you see how I did it? Just like this. Can you see? The next thing you want to do now is to go ahead and turn it over to the right side. Like this. Then go ahead and bring your front piece. Then place them the right side facing each other like this. Can you see? Make sure it's straight. Make sure it's very relaxed. Go ahead and place everything very fine. Hold it with your pin if you want to then go ahead and shape it 
you can so guys after i was done shaping the dress you can see what i have here can you see so this is how it's looking i also going ahead to iron it out as well you can see how relaxed everything is looking can you see this is the the flat side you can see that everything is looking so fine there is no folded side there is no folded part everywhere is just straight and very fine you can see so this how yours should look like so this is the back you can see the tail side can you see that everything is looking so fine just look at it very well if you serious and notice any little mistake please go ahead and loosen it up because any little mistake can mess up a dress okay so after i was done doing everything i said the back is actually looking like you can see so next thing i'm going to be doing now is to do the sleeve so it's just a small stylish sleeve like that just look at what i'm going to be doing here so this is the piece i'm going to be using for the boot sleeve okay so the wideness is um the length of the sleeve is actually nine inches while the wideness is i think 15 inches or so okay so i'll just go ahead and fold the upper part and also fold the down part like this so guys um before i do that what i'm going to be doing is to place it um place the both of the both piece together like this then i'm going to measure five and a half inches then after measuring it i slanted the remaining side you can see like an armhole go ahead and slash it sorry go ahead and slash it so after that this is where i have here so i'm going to place it again after sewing the upper part i placed it again because i noticed that it was excess so i placed it again right now i'm going to reduce the excess so i think what i marked there was 14 inches all right seven inches that is 14 inches when you open it up so i marked i marked 14 inches you okay? get so i just went ahead to cut it off like this so after cutting it off you can see where i have here so what i'm going to do now is to bring the dress itself then what i'll do is from that point place your tape like this from that joining point you can see place your tape then mark one and a half inch away you can also mark two inches or two and a half if you want it very off you get so i marked one and a half inch so i'll just go ahead and spot out the back side using the one and a half inch as well you can see go ahead and spot it out like this then after that this is what i'm going to be doing now i'll just go ahead and place the piece like this from the one and a half from this side i marked one and a half inches i went ahead to place it then pleat the leaf as well you can see i'm pleating the sleeve go ahead and pleat it like this you can see how i'm doing mine each of the pleats please make sure you pin it down with your pin you can see so after i was done doing that i'm going to place my tape at the both side i'll mark one inch so go ahead and place your tape at the both side for the armhole mark one inch at both side you get then after marking this one inch we are going to go ahead and place the remaining side of the sleeve they pleat it as well you can see go ahead and pleat it then stop your pleat at the exact spot you marked at the back do you get i am feeling lonely and i want to make it start to when you're done pinning go ahead and see the both side using your half inch all right so after that this is what you should have you can see so the next thing i did was to place my tape before i sew this i placed my tape i want to measure the normal round for the cap height i don't know if you know what i meant just measure the normal round for the cap height then i measured my and i had to reduce the upper side because i don't want the cap height to be loose do you get it's supposed to you know hug that person so after arranging them in place again i went ahead to repaint then also go ahead to join it like this you can see so after i was done joining you can see what i have here so it's very important you measure your cap height i mean your cap height round circumference measure it do you get if you don't know what i meant so i'll leave the picture you can see the picture here on the screen now guys i'm going to wear it on my mannequin so you see the final look of this beautiful dress 
So guys, I didn't let her put this dress on my mannequin because I noticed my mannequin was much more bigger than the dress. You can see that the person is slim. So I decided to wait for her to come for the fittings and here is the final look of this dress. You can see how beautiful it is looking. And I also added the flowers here on the neckline. Can you see? So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.